So challenge five um, is bringing together some of the skills that we've already learned. And essentially what this is doing is it's going to ask us for some inputs. There's going to be a bit of a process and then we're going to output something. So again, we look for what the word input or enter so we know what the two different variables are going to be. So in this case, it says ask the user to input two numbers. So a sensible variable name could be number one. Or you'll often see people shorten them down to things like num1. But I'm going to keep it number one just for simplicity. We could also have number two because that's a logical name to have for the two numbers. Now this is where you've learned that these could be inputs and I'm going to deliberately do this wrong so that you understand. So this would be enter number one and enter number two. Now the process for this, now that we've got our two inputs, the process is to add them together. So a computer would do this by putting the name of the variable using the plus sign and then the name of the other variable. And I'm just going to put some spaces in so you can see. That is how you'd add them together. But we need some way of storing that result. So there's two ways you could do that. One is you could just say print number one and two. Like that. Or what is better to do, in my opinion, is to have a separate variable for the answer. So you could call it sum or you could call it total. So total equals number one plus number two. And then all you've got to do is print out total. Now I'm gonna save this and test it just to show you what happens. So if I call it challenge five and run the program, I'm gonna type in a number, so I'll call 50 and 30. Now we all know that that'll be 80. 50 plus 30 is 80. Press enter and you'll notice what's happened is it's just joined the two strings together like before. So what we've got to do is figure out what's happening here. What it's doing is this plus thing is just concatenating two strings. It's just joining this string and this string together. So we need to take what they're typing in and convert it from a string of text to something else. Now, you could do it where it is decimal numbers or you could do it where it's whole numbers. So for simplicity, I'm going to stick with integer, which means whole number. And remember, every bracket that you open needs to close. So because we've got two open brackets, they are closing at the end. And we'll do integer and put two brackets at the end. Now, when I run the same program, we'll use the same inputs, 50 and 30. And this time, it works out as 80 for us. So this time it's converted what we've typed in into a number and what we've typed in into a number. So the computer then sees this plus as an actual operation. So it's a mathematical operator that's going to add the two numbers together. Then the variable that we print out is the actual sum of those two numbers. That's the end of challenge five.